resident of Hawaii with no recent travel history has been diagnosed with the state's first case of the COVID variant initially detected in the UK. On the eve of the Super Bowl in Tampa, health officials are urging Americans to avoid gatherings beyond one's own household. We're going to stay in and uh, make our famous uh, salsa and chips. Fresh air, lots of good friends but we're not going to stay too close to them, six feet apart. People should be able to do what they want if they want to go watch the game at a bar or go to a friend's house. About a year into the pandemic, some states are easing restrictions. Starting Sunday, Iowa residents won't have to wear masks in indoor public spaces. The U.S. Supreme Court also issued orders prohibiting California from banning indoor church services. But the state can keep its ban on singing and chanting indoors. In his first television interview since being sworn in, President Biden tells CBS Evening News anchor Nora O'Donnell he's open to compromise with Republicans on who receives $1,400 stimulus checks. Is it someone who makes up to $50,000 or is it someone who makes up to $75,000? I'm prepared to negotiate that, but here's the deal. Middle class folks need help, but you don't need to get any help to someone making 300,000 bucks or 250. So it's somewhere between an individual making up to 75 and phasing out and a couple making up to 150 and it's phasing out. The president also told Nora O'Donnell he's willing to negotiate on whether a minimum wage increase of $15 an hour is included in the bill. Michael George, CBS News. And you could watch all of Nora O'Donnell's exclusive interview with President Joe Biden here on CBS tomorrow just before the Super Bowl.